All right, so what do you want to talk about today? Uh, I want to talk about real quick, so I uh, jump on here and see what you guys are doing. I want to talk about uh, marketing in whales, right? So um, we always have, you know, you, you put marketing out and you're going to get deals coming in and, and there's going to be a certain category of leads that come into your business. There's leads that come in where um, they, uh, you know, sellers, are that's no deal seller wants retail it's no deal you're not gonna be able to do anything it with um, then there's uh, potential leads to come in and leads are gonna convert those into an appointment so you either do a phone call with them make an offer over the phone however you do it or you're going to um, uh, or you're going to actually set an appointment now we set an appointment uh, with try to set an appointment with every single person possible um, I'm an in-house type of person guy um, I know there's other guys that do stuff over the phone. I actually met a guy in Philly, his name's Corey, literally closes all of his contracts over the phone. Now I've been in houses, got contracts with sellers uh, where the um, where uh, I have been there, I got the property under contract and the seller told me that they got calls uh, from other places, I mean calls from other, other, other wholesalers trying to make offers and because they didn't come out to the house they never decided to actually do the contract with them so the bottom line is is that uh, we you know we our goal is as leads come in is to we don't determine motivation we book that appointment and we book that appointment go into the house meet with the seller build a report and take them through the process educate them on why we believe we're the best option for them then we'll get the property under contract now um, now, let's talk about the whale and what a whale is uh, versus just a regular deal. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna have um, deals that come in and the deals are gonna come in are going to, you're gonna have like an average deal size. So our average overall deal size in our company is about $18,000. Um, and because we, we when we build in a company spread, we build in that company spread, a, a $20,000 spread into our numbers, um, which is amazing, right? So. The bottom line is, is that you have to continue to market and you will get those whales. Don't get frustrated. Don't get frustrated if you get a $10,000 deal or a $5,000 deal or a $3,000 deal, $4,000 deal. Keep the lines in the ocean. Now, I was in Hawaii a couple of years ago when we went deep sea fishing in Hawaii. And as we went out there, we had uh, this you know two-tier boat and it had three lines off the right side, three lines off the wet, wet left side. And then we had three lines, yeah, six lines out the back. When we had actually nine lines out the back. We had one off the left, one off the side, and one off the middle, three off the middle. And he had all these lines that are in the ocean at all different depths with all different bait. So, and this guy was, I mean, he, he, he was completely, um, he knew how to fish. This guy has been out, he goes out all day, every day, that's all he does. He knew the best spots, and he knew how to rig the boat correctly with all the right. So all he was putting in on all these lines with all these different type of baits at different types of depths, and he was dropping them in the ocean, um, and they wouldn't get tangled up. They had these like little separator things between them. It was pretty cool. And I don't know lingo because I'm not a deep sea fisherman at all, but I do it, you know, ever so often. Anyway, so the bottom line is, is that he was looking for those fish, and there were certain, uh, you know, certain baits that were going after certain fish, and we caught a huge ono and brought it into the boat. It was amazing. Um, so that's the same thing here with this business. You got to look at how many lines do you have in the ocean. Uh, you know, I just set up some uh, Facebook ads that are targeting um, uh, distressed sellers right now. We skip trace them and we get all the email address and phone numbers and stuff like that. We put them up to Facebook and we target those sellers. Now, it's not going to be a massive lead source, but guess what? It's a line in the ocean. You do RVM, ringless voicemail, that's a line in the ocean. You do direct mail, that's another line in the ocean. You do cold calling, that's another line in the ocean. You do voice broadcasting, that's another line in the ocean. You know, um, you know all these little things. You, 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 know, you, you take a, a business card, and when you're, when you're at your gas station, you put that little card up in the gas station thing, guess what? That's a line in the ocean. You might get a deal, you might not. I've got deals from the weirdest places ever, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, from just referrals, asking sellers, 
I, I, there was a vacant house and I went and talked to all the neighbors and I got the neighbor's house under contract, <laughs> you know? I went and turned around, I'm sitting there, I went to this house, it was vacant, I'm sitting there trying to know what it was there, tried to look at it, so I, I, I hit all the neighbors, hit the one on the left, one on the right, couple across the street and the one on the right, Happened to talk to the lady and she goes, uh, yeah, I'm looking to sell my house. And she goes, you know, turn around, bam. She goes, I was just thinking about it, got that property under contract and turned around and flipped it. You know, so there is a por portion that you have to have the lines in the ocean um, and uh, and put those uh, those leads and those ads out there because you're going to turn around and, and you're going to get deals and they're going to come in. So that's the first thing I want to talk about is getting those lines in the ocean. Make sure you have that because you will get whales. You will get the deal that comes in. They're going to want $120,000. you are going to sell it for $190,000. you are going to make $70,000 and you're going to go, holy cow, I made more in one deal. I used to make it an entire year. And you're going to be pretty excited. The next thing is this, is that how tenacious are you, right? How tenacious, how hungry are you? Tenacity is something where you don't quit, right? And you're, you're just basically pushing and pushing and pushing. You're hungry. You're, uh, you know, when it comes to following up with sellers, people are like, well, I don't want to call them too many times because I'm afraid they're going to think I want to buy the house. Of course you want to buy the house. You're afraid in your mind that you're bugging the seller about your offer, right? Forget that. Be tenacious, be all over them. Let them know you're hungry. Let them know you want the business. Let them know you're willing to do whatever it takes. Let them know you're gonna go the extra mile. Let them know you're gonna bug them until they actually make a decision. Why? Because none of your competition is doing it. You know what? I mean, we have our uh, sales guys, they're gonna call them all day, every day until the seller sells. And then you go, well, how long should I follow up with a person? Well, s follow up with them until they sell, until the property's sold. Right, that's it. So the bottom line is I went out to this appointment, met with a seller, offered her a number, and she literally went completely dark. I saw the property blasted out from another wholesaler that, that I don't actually know. Um, if I knew him, I would've called him up, but I didn't know him. And then I went back and uh, continued to follow up with the seller, continued to follow up with the seller, followed up relentlessly, emails following up, calling and following, him, continued every single day I followed up. Finally, this lady went dark, finally came back and said, no, I'm not, I'm not in contract with anybody else. Really? <laughs> really? Sweet. So guess what? I immediately turned around, immediately sent her a contract, immediately got the property back. Now I'm going back to meet her out there and going through some information and stuff next week and getting the property. And this is probably about a $40,000, $50,000 deal. So uh, you've got to be absolutely relentless when it comes to following up until you actually see the property transfer title in, in, you know, in, in the thing. Then you continue to follow up like relentlessly. All right, guys, I'll talk to you. Have an awesome day. Take care. God bless.